morning. Um, for those who don't know me, my name's um, Matt. Um, myself and Lindy have been coming to East Coco since uh, just before Christmas. And you probably recognise me or know me from playing the piano. I've worship a few times as well. And um, yeah, I listened to Tom's little video message the other day and um, was reading uh, uh, reading my Bible notes, which I try to do every day. I don't always do it every day, but I try to. And I uh, came across a verse and Tom asked me to share it. And um, hopefully while you're listening to this bit, I videoed uh, down the end of my gardens. I've got some amazing views of which I, which, uh, I like to enjoy. So I thought I'd share those with you rather than having to look at my ugly face. And um, yeah, I'll just read the passage out to you. It's Philippians 2, verses 3 to 5. And um, it says this, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. And um, it just, uh, well, it actually made me think about this, actually. And you're probably thinking, why on earth did it make me think about a toilet roll? But um, for those of you that know us a bit better, we've been in self-isolation for a uh, just over a week now, Lindy has an autoimmune disease and um, we made the decision to self-isolate um, because she's in one of the uh, most at-risk groups and uh, getting hold of toilet roll is an absolute nightmare. Um, you've probably seen on the news and I've put a clip on there, people panic buying, queuing out the door to shops, stockpiling and um, if you can get out to the shops, it's not too bad because you probably can get hold of some stuff. If you're uh, self-isolated like us and you rely on home deliveries, it's even more difficult to get the things you need. And um, yeah, just reading this verse, I thought it was really important that um, despite the challenging times, um, we need to maintain um, that sense of humility, that sense of putting others first considering others better than ourselves and actually really um, living out our faith and living how Jesus would want us to live and that means not panicking that means try not to be fearful or too anxious about the situation and try not to follow others in their um, way of dealing with it and for instance panic buying and um, because unfortunately when people panic buy um, it does cause issues for other more vulnerable people in our community and um, you know, it is important to consider those people um, not just the vulnerable but everyone um, consider family, friends, neighbours, church members just consider their situation you know what what do they need in these times how can we support them how can we help them and that might be practically if you're able to do that um, you know, go, and go out and buy people shopping get them supplies, medication, you know, especially for those people who can't get out for whatever reason, be it they're, um, be it they're unwell or physically frail or don't have um, mobility or maybe like us are in self-isolation, you know, how practically could you help those members of the community? It might be you can just pray um, and actually that's the most powerful thing we can do and you know, God does listen to us. Um, church does have a prayer chain and you can email into the church if you've got any prayer requests um, or even might be practical requests then email into the into the church and um, I'm sure they'll be able to um, well, certainly your prayer requests they'll be able to circulate and if practically if the church can help you I'm sure they will and um, it might even be just a simple thing as pick up the phone give that friend neighbor family member church member a ring make that Skype call, send them that message on text message or social media, um, just so they know they're remembered, encourage them. And um, yeah, so I hope that, I uh, hope this little word encourages you. It is challenging times, but it's important that we still remain um, a witness to Jesus Christ in our lives in these times. And And on the lighter note, if you are stockpiling anywhere, stop it because we can't get any.
let's out more seriously every every blessing to everyone that uh, that uh, listens to this today.